What's up, Happy Gamers? I'm Happy THE Happy Gamer, and welcome to Oxen Free, the game where you play hide-and-seek with your nieces and nephews. Not really. Actually, this game just came out on Steam. It was actually developed by 2X Telltale uh, development team members. So they kind of follow the same style, but as far as the game's unique, creative originality and everything that there is to it, it's... Uh, it's just a, a unique game. I've seen videos, read stuff on it. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to get into it. But uh, it's, it involves choices and all that. So, you know me. I like choices. I like to make my own choices. So here we go. Here's Oxen Free. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like <laughs> That's 10 awesome. Minutes. Uh, I'm listening. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something something cookies. Something something cookies or whatever. Perfect. You're right <laughs> on the money. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. Now what happened? <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? Uh, just some guy. He's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, step-brother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes. Yeah, nice. no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. <laughs> Just a klepto, so you're in luck. Ah, sarcasm. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. Oh. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna try and being Jonas. nice. Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. It's true. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. I'm trying. I, we, I haven't uh, quite need figured a girl that in the out. Picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Alex, we're not taking the pick until you get in here. There we go. Look at that. I can wait all night. I was trying to figure well, out how to... all night, but until the boat docks. Let me... I just want to walk around real quick. I didn't know that I could walk around. This is brilliant. Uh, so this game's like a four-hour game, and so it won't be very long. Uh, so we'll probably just have a few videos of it, but... I've heard that it's just amazing, so I'm pretty excited I'm playing this right now. Can I run? No, it won't let me run. 
See, I was trying to click on these little circles. Yay! There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Warts? Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Of course. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. This is awesome. 88.3. This is so cool. It's Which I played because that song has been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Oh, are we there? I want a drink. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Got me a drink. I'm good to go. There's their picture. Look! She's smiling. He's a little bit weird looking. He looks like he's not that happy. So I guess we'll find out what's, what his deal is. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. No I thanks. Mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so. Alex, <laughs> you can bum one off me if you're empty. No thanks. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. That's right. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just checking. I go over here yet? My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes. Super I'm, fast. I'm a All little right, confused. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. I want to stay together. This is, let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh... Yeah, fine, sure, no problem. I wonder what that picture means. Okay, speed read definition of it. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say so funning isn't really a word, but. We are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kinda kitschy. What, the town? I like it, I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. Anyway, does this go anywhere? More closed stores. I'm just gonna trees? keep interrupting him. Know, but it's not where we're going. I don't think he's gonna stop talking. Is the weirdo caves? Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because uh, when you go to the. If nobody lives here and the stores like are all closed. Whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. So yeah, we That's brought true. the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really? Creepy. It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. What is this? It's amazing when it works. Does this mean he's so thinking about her? Second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can uh, hear. Okay, sure. sure. <laughs> he never stops talking. I don't it's know whether just, uh, to wait on him. Like, I can't even give proper well, commentary well, because he's commenting so much. Well, so... Really? It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. There we go. What is it? Nah, 
It's all right. I don't have to hear it. Uh, 102.3. Anyways, it's like the only time in history an American sub was destroyed in our waters or something like Is that. that. What he said? Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so they made it into like a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, if you had, you'd have heard of the. If town. I had known the but right click was the radio, had. then I would have done but it yeah, sooner. Yeah, Maggie Adler. That's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. I, yeah, can't I can't imagine, imagine that. living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact wall. Oh, hey, this is the parts and facilities office. Didn't, didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks and barely anybody here needs facilities. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah. Never be mind. nice. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But... For now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. I... No, it isn't. I just want to <laughs> do something. Thank you. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Like... it. That's true. I want to select things and hear all the conversations but they're talking so much that I can I can barely do anything it's just good I like dialogue it's just like there's so many things to click and in all that and I'm kind of a little bit OCD about all that I'm gonna read this sign the here path officially ends here the beach is past the fence I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there but I'm blanking on what it was but it's not I mean it can't be too difficult well look there must be something I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. There we go. Hey, Ren is up there just standing there watching. Do I want to go to the cliffs? I sure do. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Nine p.m. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like. Just how you can be sometimes. What does that mean? Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret... <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? Should I be scared? Some birds flew out of a hole and scared me, that's all. <laughs> birds. Like, and I don't want to interrupt him, but... Goof. The conversation topics that I can choose from disappear really quickly, so it's like, what well, you know, what choice do I have? Epiphany Field. Let's go back here because he was headed down here first. I was just I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna miss anything down here. I love the music, their soundtrack, it's like retro. I hope we can get back. I don't know if we'll be able to. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Maybe they, maybe we get them and they go with us or something. Hey, 
We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hey, I'm Hi. Jonas. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... She sounds like she has a cold. <laughs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm Be nice. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I didn't get to see it. See, it disappears so quickly. I wonder if it'll let me go back up there. Hey, is this, like, a part of the base? This far out on the beach? I honestly don't know what that is. But remember, you can pull out your little radio and tune to that tour station if you want. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's... Oh, that was it. ...years as the communication nerve center for outside... relations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Does anyone else feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now? So, on our way back down, here we go. Here we go. Going to the beach. Well, this is nice. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I like exploring. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. For hey, real. where does that old woman live? Oh. You mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's cool. dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. I'm just gonna Local sit over here and throw rocks. Way. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. I don't think that's the thing and to do. sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. That seems really and interesting. to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever truth. All right, uh, let's just get on with it. Okay. Done throwing rocks. So, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Fire's going, Clarissa. getting down a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. Yeah. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Great, let's just move on. 
She's, okay. she's being Trent's kind of turn. kind right. of mean. He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> uh oh. Oh please, shoot! I can take it. Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And um, Jonas is family now. Mary Wren. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I don't want to talk Who about this. Dirty Nona, she seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which... Of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey! Hey, now, you can't control the sneeze. She's such a jerk. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. Jonas. What's your favorite? Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah. Happy we're truth. siblings. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Uh, what's the matter? It's an honest question. I'm, wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna walk I up here and do my own thing. Just, will you just keep playing? I can listen from here. No, you can't. Be social, like the little butterfly that you are. Oh, it won't let me go, will it? I wanted to now. be the Alex, cool person and go you explore. You got a new brother? Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm um. He uh, seems okay, right? Yeah. You're okay. Yeah, but uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And what the a fact bummer. is your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't- Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place and we'll see if it matters. Come on. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just- You know why. Michael, died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now you know jonas wow don't die and everything will be fine okay clarissa you what you know guys honestly i think i'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game for real wait let's let's not stop like this we should like game's over ren i won and to celebrate i'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe if i'm feeling spicy even take a nap maybe we could and get that's exactly what nona's gonna do too Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did, we, know. what did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? <laughs> nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any... Um, Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. What's this? Nothing. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very clean. I'm, I'm definitely <sighs> coming. Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. I want to go. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. I want to go. Don't leave me. I want to go check out the caves. Alex, you want to check out the caves? Yes. Or? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up. 
Yeah, come on. Be better than staying here with the Come on, two <laughs> valley girls. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty creepy. It's Ren, so definitely ten. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. <laughs> the fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. Yeah. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. Hold on, what? That was a joke, <laughs> and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? Me! If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, me, me, me! I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Uh -oh. Those look like brownies. I don't know about that. Brownie. Come on, Ren. Not the tonight. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean. Yeah, not while we're fish or something. going into creepy but caves. Jonas is going to do it, too. Right? Jonas? Mikomita? Sukomita? Don't do uh, it, Jonas. No thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? He's gonna the go before weird. Us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. It's Morse code, sounds like. So just pull out your radio. Any day. While we're young, please. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This- That's how, weird. How is this- How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? That's really <laughs> strange. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then. Cause I don't know. If you move around, it kinda changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. This is so cool. It's kind of creepy. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is... Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Yeah, it sounds scary. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? I don't know, but apparently I'm just going to go check it out. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. It's what Famous it last feels words. like. Famous. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs, or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Please don't fall in. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> what? Yeah, Fortune he's, favors he's the messed bold. up. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I don't know what he said. <laughs> well, that's not where I was standing when she took the picture, but that's about how I felt. It's pretty good. This is awesome. I love the experience. I love the story. So I'm just ready for something to happen. I think something is about to happen anyway. 10 p.m. One hour later. Jonas! Jonas! I'm a little weirded out by where he went. Why is he gone?
There we go. How could he disappear so quickly? And why would he not wait? Of course, this is kind of a thriller, so that's why this stuff is happening. I'm just asking all the questions I ask whenever I watch a horror movie or something. Like, why would you go that way? Jonas, are you all right? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. I'm sure he's not, but something is definitely about to go down. this why would a guy bring an ashtray down here or a pen that is kind of weird what see a man about a dog see a man about a dog sure will do are you okay ah, Jesus you scared me how'd you get down here so fast what are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's pretty. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? That didn't sound Kinda? like a person. I don't know where it's coming from. But let's check Maybe it out. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. Oh, is that <laughs> what happens? Where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look. If it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, with the voice acting, you can hear the the wind from their breath sometimes. It's not typical. It's not distracting by any means, and it's not something that, you know, I would say, you know, lower score for or anything. But I can just tell it's there. Oh my gosh. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that? It's a wardrobe! Did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? No? No, where? It's like in the, the air, right there. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow. Oh, I see it now. Like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. Sure, why not? Let's go with that for the time being. Is this wardrobe going to take us to when Narnia? You tuned in those weird signals out there in the um what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Well, I was listening to the mu weird music. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Kind of creeped out. Oh, look at that. I can't even, like, what is, what's? I know, I, I know. This is so weird. There we go. What's going on? Jonas? 
Tell what they're saying. I, I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't. Bob two. Leave, children. Bye. Others will see you soon. Alex. What? What in the world is going on? Whoa. Is that the submarine? Did we make contact with the submarine that sunk? Or, you know, I knew submarine sink, but the one that doesn't work anymore. Alex! Alex! Wow. Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You all right? I thought you were dead for a minute. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just... No, I'm... Way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. Yeah, for real. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here, and we're going to pick it up where we left off right here next time. I'm really enjoying this. I, I love thrillers, first of all, and I love the way this is set up and the relationship stuff going on, but oh my gosh, what is going on? What just happened? There's no way, there's no way we know right now. But we're going to find out. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like. Talk to me in the comments, guys. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time.